All coming in. All righty. How are we, guys? Let's just switch the camera view. All righty. Give me a thumbs up if everyone can hear me. Awesome. It's a lot of thumbs. So, welcome to uh, Footwork and Finishing. Um, I'm Ben um, from the Senior Men's. Uh, basically, we're going to take you through about a 30, 35 minute workout. I'm going to follow along, do it myself, um, try my hardest to keep up with you guys. Um, and we're going to have some fun. Um, this finishing workout is pretty much exactly what I try and do um, about three times a week. Um, so it is uh, reasonably advanced, but we're going to try um, and adjust it to everyone's level. Um, and if it's too easy for you guys, um, then you can brag about it to everyone else. All right. So what we're going to do before we start any basketball movements or move around too much, we're going to warm up because right? we don't want to pull a muscle because when you get to Jared's age, all right, you'll regret it. Also, we do have Jared Moss here. He will, um, you know, try and critique you guys as you're going through it because I'll be doing it with you. Um, so I won't be able to see exactly how everyone's doing it, but we're going to have Jared to the side here. Um, and uh, yeah, helping you guys out whilst whilst I'm doing it. So to start off with, all right, we're going to jog on the spot for about 30 seconds. All right, not everyone has um, a massive space and that's totally fine. I'm, I'm very blessed to have this space my, my, myself. But if you're in a lounge room, garage or in your driveway, uh, we can get some work in. So to start off with, we're going to just jog on the spot for about 30 seconds. All right. We won't uh, go too crazy uh, because we're going to get warm, blood flowing a little bit um, and just get, get going. Hopefully some of you can uh, throw down a few dunks today, show me up a little bit. So I know I won't be doing any dunking. Jared might be, not me. And uh, we're going to have a good time. So we're going to do 10 more seconds of jogging on the spot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so we've got the blood flowing a little bit now. If everyone has a skipping rope, all right, or even if you don't have a skipping rope, that is totally fine. We're going to do 30 seconds of skipping. So I'm going to try and get this rope out of its case. All right. Now, if you don't have a skipping rope, that's been okay. All righty. Because it's probably the first time I've touched a skipping rope in a few months. All righty. If you don't have a skipping rope, all you're going to do is just baby jumps and just imagining you're holding a rope. It's not a massive deal at all. But... If you do have a skipping rope, all right, what we're going to do is, all right, just some simple little baby jumps like this for 30 seconds. All righty. So if everyone could do that for me, all right, we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Now, if you want to, you can mix up the footwork. You can go Rocky style. All right. If you want, you can double jump. I'm not that good at skipping, but you can just mix it up. Just get warm. All right. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Oh, I'm skipping. All right, blood flowing, getting moving. A lot of you have probably been playing Fortnite today, some COD, some Minecraft. All right, we need to get you guys up and about. All right, 10 more seconds. Good work. Go. Oh, three, two. One double jump. Oh, damn. All right. So now that we're all huffing and puffing a little bit, well, I know I am. All right. We're going to do high knees on the spot for about 20 seconds or so. All right. So high knees, just getting those knees up like this. All right. I know you probably feel a bit silly right now, but we're getting warm. We're getting loose. All right. And that's what it's all about. All right, so high knees, really try and drive those knees up. It's going to be tiring, but it's going to be worth it. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on. Okay. Take a couple deep breaths. Shake it off a little bit. Oh, and give me time to have a quick rest. All righty, now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do butt kicks. All right. So hands behind our butt. I know some of you are giggling at that already. Alrighty, and we're gonna do some butt kicks like this. Just the opposite. 
All right, loosening out those quads, those hammies, all the muscles that are going to allow us to jump super high today. Whew. I'm going to give it 20 more seconds. Oh, before I pass out. Good job. Good job, guys. That's really killing it. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. My legs are burning. So, all right, so we're going to ease it up a little bit with the warm up. Now, I can see everyone has a pretty good space. All right, not everyone's too confined. So, take a few step backs from the camera if you can. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some knee pulls. All right, so you're going to take a couple steps. If you don't have a con, uh, sorry, if you have a confined space, you can just do this on the spot. Obviously, and just switch legs to stage stage area. That's it's probably doing the exact same thing. All right, but we're going to take a few steps, and we're going to pull one knee to our chest like that. Hold for three seconds. Okay, take a few more steps, and just pull the other knee. All right, then we're just going to walk back and do the same thing. All right, we're going to do it five times. All right, so five times each leg. All right, here we go. One, two, come up. One, two, three. Take a few steps. One, two, three. Awesome. That's one. All right, same thing. One, two, three. Couple steps. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, two more times, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, damn, this is boring. I understand. I'm feeling the same way, but it is so, so important to loose, okay? So now we're just going to do the opposite. All right, we're going to do heel pulls. All right, the same thing, a couple steps, heel pull for three seconds and release. All right. Now, as you get a bit older, you're going to start to appreciate these warm ups just a little bit more. All right. A lot of you just spring out of bed and ready to go. And I envy you. All right. Ugh. Three more, a couple steps. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, last one here, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so last stuff of our warm up before we get into the real fun stuff. All right, we're going to loosen up our hips and adductors a little bit and do some side lunges. All right, so side lunge is just like that. All right. So if you're like me, okay, and you have tight hips, or oh, we're opening up a little bit. So what we're going to do is spread your legs out like this, and we're going to just lean to one side. Let's lean to our left side. All right, I'll just take a guess. You have a 50-50 chance of landing. All righty. We're going to hold for three seconds. One, two, three. We switch legs. One, two, three. All right. So we're going to do that tw all right, twice more each leg. One. Two, three. One, two, three. Last time. Two, one, two, three. Awesome. All righty. Now, does anyone need a drink before we need a drink? You can have a quick sip. If you guys are ready to go, just give me a thumbs up. All right. Uh, we have some thumbs. Awesome. We are good to go. So, basically, I'm going to give you, whilst we're doing it, I'm going to give you a quick explanation. Well, so, it's real, but why we're doing the job. Uh, it's, a, it's very easy for coaches to give you all these drills, but a lot of the time, we don't really know what we're doing. All right. So, all these finishes, these layers, I'm going to try and give you an explanation on the situations that we will use them in. Um, in the games, and uh, you look really cool in front of your friends. So to start off with, all righty, we're going to do something called the Mikan series. All right, now put your hand up if you've heard of a, the Mikan series or a Mikan drill before with layups. Yeah, so I have a few hands up right now. Awesome. So the Mikan drill, historically, it's just a 
basically like a, a layup uh, warm up drill or a finishing drill created by George Mikan, a historical big man from the Lakers. I'm pretty sure throwing a head nod awesome. So do your research about George Mikan. But basically, normally you stand under the rim. All righty, and you catch the ball under the rim like that, going left to right. All right. So we're going to add a bit of an adjustment. This is kind of what for the adjustments I've made growing up that I found this is just a really good warm up for me. So we're going to do 20 finishes, but we're going to break the 20 finishes into fruit footwork and finish. Kind of sounds confusing, I know. All right. But based for the first five makes, all right. And it, it doesn't have to be an even uh, same on both hands because. Like me, oh, you're probably going to miss one or two. So it, it tends to even out anyway. All right. Obviously, it's on the left hand. Maybe just chuck in an extra couple on that left. All right. So the first five makes of our 20 are just going to be a normal mic and series like this. All righty. So two, three, four, five. All right. Just our normal historical mic. All righty. Then we're going to do five reverse layers, reverse mic -ins. All right. So one. Two, and then all the way up to five. Our third five, okay, so from 10 to 15, we're going to do an off-step mic in, all righty? So, wrong leg, okay? So, for me, if I'm shooting a right-hand layup, I'm driving my left knee up with my right hand, all right? So, an off-step, all righty, into a, into a finish, all right? Then I do the same on the other side. So, we're working on that opposite leg finish, okay? That's our Steve Nash finish. I'll explain that in detail further along. And then our last five, okay, we're doing the same off-step footwork, but it's reverse, okay? So now we're reversing it, all right? So reverse, like that. And we're going, oh, uh, different leg, same hand. That sounds confusing even to me. All righty, so first five, normal marking. Second five, reverse marking. Third five is that off-step finish. And that fourth five is that off-step reverse. Now, if that's too difficult for you, that is totally fine. You can just do the 20 normal markings. Okay, that is the the uh, kind of the beginner progression. And then as you start to advance up and you start to think, damn, this is too easy, that's when you can start integrating those different footworks. Okay. Too hard, 20 normal markings. If you want to follow along with me, we'll do the different footworks. All right, to so position yourself under a hoop, if you have one. Um, if you don't, just practice the footwork. We'll get going. So five normal markings. Oh, I've just absolutely blown the layer. Here we go. I've blown it again. Here we go. One, two, three. Hold that right. Four. First. One, two, three, four. Five. All right, now we're doing off step. One, two, and three, four, five. Now off step reverse. One. Oh, this is a totally okay. Two, three, four, five. All right. That's our marking series. Now, thumbs up if you missed a layup. I've got, I should have about four thumbs up. I missed four. All righty. Now, if you're still going, if you're still finishing up, that's totally fine. All right, we don't want to miss any reps. We're going for 20 makes. Yep. Yep, absolutely. So, if you don't have a hoop, all right, because I understand. Um, so some of you, maybe a lot of you don't. All right, that is, that, that's totally fine. We can get our own work in. So you just got to imagine it's kind of there because you can still practice that footwork. You imagine there's a hoop standing in front of you. You're shooting a right hand layup. You've got your right left up, okay? Then your left right up. So you can just do that as a drill by yourself at home. Just imagine you're finishing like that, getting your footwork right. I'm doing a left hand layup, left, right, up. And same thing for reverse. Now, once you get access to a hoop, that footwork is just going to come natural. All righty. So, is it to progress to the next drill? Can I get a thumbs up? 
if you're ready to go to the next drill. Awesome. All righty. So the next drill, all righty, is going to be some touch work. Okay. Now, touch basically um, just means, you know, uh, if you shoot floaters or basically anytime you shoot a basketball, if you have nice touch, all that means is it's, it's coming soft off your hands and hopefully it doesn't just go like ding off the rim. All right, so we want to work on that touch for those nice little close floaters, those nice um, little like close shots where we're not shooting a jump shot, um, like a historical jump shot like that with that goose neck. We're shooting more of a floater to get it off quick against bigger guys. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take about 10 steps from under our rim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so around the, the foul line elbow. All right, so around that foul line distance. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on our floaters. All right, and for guards, for anyone in general, floaters are super important because we want to get it off um, bigger people. Because if you're like me, where you're below average height, all right, you want to master these shots so when you start progressing to higher levels, all right, you can really rely on them because layups are going to, become quite scarce all right you're not going to be able to have many opportunities to finish at the rim because you have a seven foot athletic guy that's ready to just swat your stuff out of there so what you're going to do is you're going to spin the ball out you're going to reverse pivot and what that means is you're going to turn 180 on if we're on the if we're shooting right hand shots we're going to pivot off our left foot okay so left foot pivot like this reverse pivot we're going to take one dribble and we're going to shoot a floater all right, and hopefully, unlike me, you're going to try and make it. What we're going to do is, from this side, we're going to shoot three floaters, sorry, four floaters, all righty, all together. And we're going to shoot two with our right hand, like that, normal footwork. And we're going to shoot two, okay, still pivoting. So now we're going to change the pivot foot off the right leg. We're shooting two with still our right hand, but now we're coming from the left side of our body. All right, so we're shooting two coming off the right side of our body and then two with that left dribble. All right, we're not going to work on left hand floaters today. We're just going to do all right. Oh, if you're left handed, if you're naturally left handed, you can do left hand floaters. And we're going to predominantly just do our strong hand floaters. All right, so spin it out to yourself. All right, reverse pivot, one dribble, and we're going to shoot that floater. Hopefully, we can make it. All right, so we're going to do two each way. Just bang, one. Job HG girls. Chase down your misses. There you go. That's work, guys. Let's go, Chase. Give it. Good work, Alex. Go the other way. No, you boys are inside, but you can work on that footwork. Spin the ball out for yourself. Work on that reverse pivot. Forward pivot. Job read. Job, Alex. Awesome. Yeah, good work, Mia. Guys, if you've done two on each side, just have a quick drink while Ben finishes off. Might be a while. <laughs> <laughs> Try and make it game pace. Remember, you're only competing against yourself here. You can go through the motions or you can go a little bit harder and make the game pace. Good job, Cody. I know it's hard there without the hoop. Just work on that footwork, that reverse pivot. Good. That's forward. Perfect. Good job, Colton. All right. Once we've made four, all right, in the workout plan that we're going to re release tomorrow, You'd normally go to the other side and do the same thing, but for time restraints, we're going to move on. All right, so there are a couple of people. We're still, all right, if you can still hear me, we're going to go to the next drill. All right, now this is going to be quite hard to explain. It's a bit of an advanced drill, but we're going to come up with different variations so that it can accommodate everybody. So I've very arrogantly named this little drill series perry finishing my last name ben perry all right so you guys can remember that and tell your future children and when you explain the drill all right so i learned this little work off uh there used to be a, a thing called jelly fam if anyone remembers it's like a, a type of layup people used to do all right and the person who created jelly fam like these labs came up with this workout all right it's pretty advanced so i'm going to struggle to explain it and 
Hopefully, whilst I'm doing it, Jared can maybe throw out a few pointers. He's done it with me. Um, so same thing at that elbow area. We're going to throw the ball out. We're going to reverse pivot again. So for me, um, who's on the, if I'm facing the rim, I'm on the right side of the of the backboard. Okay, I'm reverse pivoting, and I'm taking one left dribble. Okay, one left dribble. And I'm bringing it back right hand between my legs to an off foot finish. All right. So to show you facing the camera, what's going to look like is I reverse pivot, throw it down with my left hand, bring it between my legs to my right hand. Okay. And I'm doing it on the left. So off the wrong uh, foot finish. Okay. I'm going to try and do it normal packs. So left, right, back. Hopefully we can try and make that layup. All right. Now for the people, <clears throat> where that might seem a bit too difficult. <laughs> that uh, might be me at the moment. All right, but we're going to do that same thing. We're going to reverse pivot. Okay, but always we're going to throw it down. And, okay, off leg finish again. Okay, now we'd like to do off uh, foot finishes a lot in the game, especially a senior program really half done a lot. Okay, because it throws off the timing of, of, uh, uh, block uh, shot blockers because instead of doing one two step where they can time their block, like now we're going off one step, okay, it really throws them off, it throws off their athletic defender, okay. So we're going to make three, okay, going each way, all righty. Um, so I'll try and uh, I'll do it with you guys, you all along, okay. We're going to Jared try to throw out some pointers as well, try and explain it a little bit better. Basically, we're going to throw it out, reverse pivot. Left, right, up. All right, hopefully we're going to make it. So we're going to do three makes. Throw it out. Reverse. Oh, I need to make it. Reverse pivot. Left, right, between. Up. Hey, well, I'll this again. Okay. Left, right. There we go. There's one. Reverse, left, right. Up. Left, right. Oh, good, good job, guys. Yeah, As you take that right hand dribble, you go straight into that next step. You, you drive your knee up. So you're going to be driving up opposite leg to opposite hand. You have a funky move, but it's great footwork drill. Oh, up, take off. So you're going to take off that right leg. Push off that right leg, finish with your right hand. If you can't go through your legs on that crossover as you rip through and go, just go a straight crossover in front. If you don't have a hoop, just work on that dribble move in the space that you have. Work on the reverse pivot into that left hand dribble take off, right hand between the legs or right hand crossover. You should be reaching across your body with your right hand for that crossover. Good job. Awesome. So normally, okay. So normally, okay. We would switch sides, do the same thing the opposite side. So it'd be right hand push, left hand between and up. With time restraints, we won't do the second side. And the second variation to this drill, well, this is a little bit harder. Okay, the same thing. Reverse pivot, left dribble throw down, right dribble between the legs. But instead of finishing with that outside hand, now we're finishing with that inside hand. You really have to twist your body a little bit. I'm trying to do a full pace. It's been pretty awful for my laps. This work. Yeah, so I'll give it a rack. So reverse pivot. Left, right. Oh, the retaining wall. Good little layup. Right, left. Up, there we are. Good job, guys. It's good. All it's right. a pretty advanced move, guys. That inside hand finish. Even if you're not quite, like, even if you're not 100% sure on the footwork, Work on that inside hand finish. Yeah, so reverse pivot into a into a left hand dribble, cross over in front, but just you should be finishing with your left hand now. Trying to finish with your left hand on the right side of the basket. So what that would look like for the people that uh, might not be able to do that advanced version is we're reverse pivoting, left hand dribble, crossover, and now we're finishing with that inside hand. Uh, I'm trying to do that full pace. Good job. Reverse. Good, you see good deal. Stop throwing balls at each other. Inside hand. Put the ball in the hoop. Don't throw it at each other. Good job. Good job, Jamie. 
Awesome. Good job, Through guys. inside hand. Perfect, Jamie Paxton. Well done. Good job, Kira. That's it. It's good. Oh, yep. I like it. That's yeah. not going to be perfect, guys. It's good. Get you out of your comfort zone a little bit with these ball handling drills. No, sorry, and the footwork finishing drills. Yeah, absolutely. But even myself has blown about 20 laps this workout. So uh, it's, it's, it's pretty advanced. Um, we can only get better from it. So the second drill, I've accidentally changed up the order of the, the drills that will be on the spreadsheet. Uh, so that was Perry finishing. That would be the last, uh, the drill on the on the spreadsheet. But um, now we're going to put three cone finishing. So if you have three cones, or any object, so we're going to shoot, do a prime do a prime example of uh, occupying your surroundings. Okay, and we've got three uh, planks of wood here. All right. Because we understand that not everyone has access to equipment. Beautiful Jared Moss. Okay, so we want in that triangle. Top cone to be about to be about two big steps from under the rim. Two big steps from under the rim. And we want the second cone to be about one step there. And the other cone, just not triangle. And the other cone, triangle. So, Alrighty. So, we've got a little Thank you, Jared. Uh, we've got a little triangle here. Alrighty. On that cone formation, and this is going to be See Ava. the defender. Ava's got to go. See Ava. Thanks, mate. See Ava. See you next time. Alrighty. So, this is going to be our triangle formation, and basically, we want to avoid this area the entire time. This is our White Howard's, our uh, Hakeem Arjuan shot blockers. Okay, that we want to. Void. Okay, so we're going to do three types of finishes in this drill. We're going to have a scoop finish. Okay, so if we're going right hand, we're doing normal layup footwork. So right, left, up. Okay, with our first layup will be a scoop layup, which is under the defender. Our second layup will be right, left, and that's that hook shot extending away from that defender, getting it high off the glass. And our third layup, okay, will be an up and under. So right, left, faking that hook and coming up and under like that. All right. So normally you'd do three of each, both sides. Okay, so what that would mean is you make any sort of move you want at the start. So you come to the top, make any sort of move you want. Okay, then right, left, onto layup variation. Normally you'd go three scoops both sides, three hooks both sides, or three up and unders. Okay, but for just demonstrating purposes. We'll, uh, we'll do one each side. All right. So if you guys want to follow along with me, we're going to do the scoop layup first. What that's like is we're going one, two, and we're scooping up like that. Just a normal underhand layup. All right. So at the top of your triangle formation, if you have one, if you don't have one, just imagine there's a, a defender there and try and move around them. All right. We're going to make a move at the top of the cones and bang through the legs. One, two, layup. All right, chase down your rebound. Normally you do three each side. Same thing, make your move. Now we're going left behind the back. Left, right. Scoop lap. All right, so that's our scoop series. All right, we'll do one more each side, actually. All right, so I'm doing a hezzy. Right, left. Up. All right. Hezzy, left, right. Up. All right, so that's us. All right, now we're going to get into our hook shot. All right, so hook shot series. All right, shot series. We'll be right, left, and now we're hooking away from that defender. All right. So this is going to be really useful in the situations as I've been harping on this whole session. When there's a big, long defender, all right, we can't just do a normal lap like that sometimes because they'll come and pin it. We want to hook away from the defense, okay, to get to a point where they can't reach, all right? Now, this is obviously a bit more difficult. You'll probably miss a bit more of these than the normal layup, but we're gonna give it a red hot crack, all right? It's the same thing, any crossover move at the top, which I finish is we're gonna do two each side. In three legs, right? Good job, guys. So we're trying to finish outside of our body now. Yeah, so try and get that ball out wide, hang that arm out. Even if it takes you a little bit longer to make these, Really good habit to get into, really good skill to have to be able to finish outside your body. Two on the right. 
Job Hannigan's get that arm out nice and wide, Anton. Job HGs, get that outside the body finish. Nice, excellent. Job Molly. I remember you can do any sort of crossover move to the front there. If that's a, <clears throat> a hezzy, whether it's a crossover, through legs or behind the back, any combination, there's no restrictions on these drills. It's, it's really up for your adaptation and mix it up however you want your skill level. All right, so, oh, I'm puffed out. All right, so last uh, layup is now gonna be that scoop layup. So that um, up and under. All right, so now, the defense has taken, let's just say you're dominating the game. Like, how do we stop this, this, this girl or girl? They're just they're making every layup, we can't defend them. So, we're gonna mix it up even more. All right, so, we're now gonna go one, two, coming up with that hook shot, Okay, that shot block, it goes over. We're scooping under. All righty. I'm going to try and do that live speed. Oh, it's a lot of pressure. Between the legs. Push shot. Under. Oh, and he's made it. Just. All righty. So I'll try that left hand now. Same thing. Between the legs. Hook shot. Up and under. All righty. So it's now that fake hook shot or outside your body and bring it under. If that's too difficult, which I totally yeah. understand if it is, because I just made it, um, yeah. we can do a, a historical up and under. Like All right, so any crossover at the cones, okay? Doing an up fake, pivot, flat. All right, I'll try that again. Any crossover at the top. All right, shot fake, pivot, flat. I'm grass and I like. All right, so. The other side would obviously look like crossover, blah, 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 blah. up fake, pivot, lap. All right, okay, so now we're safe. going to go to the advanced bit. We're going to try and make one each side because it might take a little while. I'll try you. All right, okay. All right, so crossover at the front, up, under. There's one. There's two. All right. Now, a lot of you might notice that as this workout's going on and, has ha and you know, you progressing through this workout, you might notice that your touch starts to feel a bit better. What I mean by that is now when you're shooting those layups, it's not just pinging off the backboard like I was at the start of the workout, all right? So touch is kind of like, um, you know, you, you can, I just like we warm up our body, before we get running, you can warm up our touch, okay? Before now we start feeling like a little baby Kyrie Irving or a baby Diana Taurasi. Now we're absolutely just finishing it at will and doing whatever we want. And that's that feeling we want to crave, all right? So you do this a few times a week and it starts to become more consistent. Alrighty, so that about wraps up the skill side of things. Now we're gonna do a little cool down because I know about you, I'm absolutely parched. We didn't even do the full workout. So, the workout is going to be posted at fdba.com. <laughs> it's at the Stay Ready page on the FDBA website. Um, you guys know where it is, apparently. Um, and uh, you guys can see all those drills. And if you don't understand, I've explained everything on video. I kind of mixed up the, um, the order of it, but you, you guys will understand it. So. To warm down, okay, we're gonna do something <laughs> called standing hip curls. All righty, so we're gonna hold out our arms like a scarecrow like this, okay, and we're gonna stand on one leg, all righty. Now we're holding out our arms to, to balance, okay. okay, we're not just looking scary and silly in front of your neighbors, all righty, as awesome as that also is, oh. okay, but we're gonna balance on one leg, and we're gonna down below, swing it. Ah, there's a fence that we're trying to get over. Okay, and we're swinging it over like that, and then we're swinging it back. Okay, that's one. We're going to do five on each leg. So try and stay on that one leg the entire time. Okay, and swing it over the fence. Okay, there's two. There's three. Ooh, lose my balance a bit. There's four. And there's five. Now, we don't want to rush this. We want to take it slow because we're coming down. Now, switch legs. 
Okay, now doing the same thing. Alrighty. On our, well, for me, it's my right leg. For you guys, it could be your left. Okay, we're doing five up and backs. There's three. There's four. Ooh. And there's five. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to do something called squat progression. Okay, so basically, it's uh, we're getting into that deep squat like this where our heel will stay on the ground. Okay, I'll, I'll explain more in detail. So basically, we're going to spend three seconds trying to touch our toes with our back straight. Okay, so back straight, one, two, three, and then we're getting down into a squat position with pushing our elbows into our knees like that. So one, two, three, then stand, like get onto your toes so you can get deeper and push your elbows out even more for three more seconds. One, two, three, and stand back up. Okay, we're trying to get those hips loose so when we come to this workout the next time, we won't be all stiff. So we're gonna do that three times, okay? So one, two, three. Down to squat, one, two, three. And then pushing those knees out, one, two, three. All right, there's two, we're gonna do one more. Whilst Jared is a little baby Steph Curry in the background. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All righty. Now, okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do the side lunges once again as a cool down. Okay, but now we're just gonna hold on each side for 15 seconds, okay? So get into a side lunge like this. We're gonna hold for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Really stretch out that straight leg. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice, all right, shake it off a little bit and switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All righty, awesome. That just about wraps it up, guys. Now, I know that was a lot of information to take in. So this is why we're gonna upload. Let me grab, I have nothing to sit on, awesome. All right, this is why we're gonna upload the video with the drills template, okay, on the exact amount of repetitions on the warm up and cool down drills we did, okay, and it's it's going to explain in much more detail. Um, but if you can enjoy, you can come back to this, come to the certain points of the workout. Watch me blow layups, okay, which is also humorous, okay, and it can make you feel better about yourself. All righty. So tomorrow we have a 4.30 shooting session with Lockie Barker. I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. All right, you know, so marksman from downtown. All right, so that will be at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. If you guys... And then Saturday will be uh, ball handling, ball on the stream with Tommy Garrett. All righty. So if anyone has any questions, this is the time that I'm all year or is. Not all ears, all right? I'm all ears um, to answer any questions. It can be absolutely about anything, all right? So if you guys want to ask away, I'm happy to answer some questions. Yeah, can Bye. You kick me Bye. Off? Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Thank, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Zach. See you later. Bye, guys. Your music, Nat. See you later, guys. See you, guys. All right. Job Hannigan's. Job Zave. See you, Team Moss. See you, Xavier. Good on you, mate. See you later, Alex. Uh, all good. In meeting, if you want, mate. Easy.